All right, guys, we're gonna do a weed plant on this phone right here. And real quick, guys, just because it's a weed plant doesn't mean I encourage you guys to smoke. In fact, I actually encourage you not to smoke or do any drug or anything that alters your mind. As the Bible says on Peter 4, 7, the end of all things is at hand. Therefore, be self-controlled and sober-minded for the sake of your prayers. And I'm telling you guys from experience because when I quit doing all those things that alter my mind, I started noticing very, very positive changes and rapid progress in my life. It's an XS Max. We're going to copy kind of like this model. You see how this one um, looks pink? So I'm going to show you guys how to do the... Um, this little design right here. So I already downloaded the the weed plant from the internet right here. So I right clicked, I hit save as, and then I saved it as a weed plant. So you want to open Illustrator, hit file, open, weed plant, it's right there on my desktop, hit open. Okay, so right now you guys see it says Shutterstock down there. What we need to do is we need to crop it. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Actually. Z, you hit shift so that it doesn't lose its proportion. Okay. Then up at the top, when you select it, you see crop, crop image. And I'm just going to do this here. And then hit apply. There, so we cropped out the shutterstock thing. And now we're going to go to window. Image trace is already selected, so I have it somewhere over here. Hit advanced, ignore whites, and then preview. And there it is. So now we're gonna uncheck the preview. Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. Let me do um, preview. Let's see if that fixes it. I just messed with the, with the threshold. Uncheck and then trace it. Make sure ignore whites was checked. All right, object. Um, image trace, expand, and then save as, no, export, export as, we plant number two, DXF, hit OK, let's get rid of this one. Um, 
Weak pound number two. Okay, there you go. Now it looks good. So I just messed with the threshold, guys. What you want to do is you want to grab a little box and then you put the glass over it. Let's turn it on first. And you're gonna auto you're gonna auto focus it, and you're gonna want to run it a f maybe three times. The reason I run it three times is to make sure that there's no more, um, like no paint, to make sure it gets it really good. So now I'm gonna save my box. And I'm gonna get a little paper towel and soak it with some alcohol. And clean the inside of it. Cut it. So I'm gonna use some some clear tape. Stretch it out. So be careful not to put glue here or on the paper because it's probably going to look, you're probably going to be able to see the, look. I guess it'll depend on the type of material you use. You can use vinyl also. Just want to make sure. Because it will seem through I think. Doesn't look like it did. Like it, I thought it was gonna turn like a like a dark color. But I don't want to risk it, so I'm not gonna put it on there. Alright guys, now that the glue seems to be dry, now remember we um, we didn't put glue on all this area when, either way, typically we wouldn't put glue because there's a charging port right here, but we would have a little bit more glue on this side, but we didn't do it because of the, because um, of that paper that we put in there. We didn't want it to get moist and then turn a dark color, you know? So... I just want to clean the excess glue. A little paper towel and alcohol always works. All 
All right, I hope you guys liked the tutorial. If you guys wanna enroll in some more training for the laser machine, like engraving portraits or creating new vector files and stuff like that. Or if you guys need the laser machine, you know where to contact me at. 951-399-7911. Contact me at uh, contact at 911gadgets.com or just go to 911gadgets.com and we'll see you there. Thank you guys for watching.